Hello lovely people, it's Mika from Moon Tiger's Path. Mercury Retrograde is over, so that means I will be doing my videos again. I wanted to do a show and tell flip through of the tarot, the Restored Order Tarot. This is the guidebook that I bought separately. 422 pages, it's quite a thick one. Let me put that to the side. And I have made my own box because the box itself was falling apart. So let's start with the cards. With the cards you get a tiny booklet with some information of the tarot. Let me bring you in just a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. So you get a little booklet with some information. It's all in Dutch. This is a Dutch tarot deck. And with this deck comes two extra cards. So we have the female intuition, which you see on the screen. It also has several symbolisms that are explained in the big book. And then you also have the male side, the truth. These are two cards that were apparently taken out of the deck somewhere in history. I haven't read the whole book, so I can't really say when and where it happened. And then we just start with the normal tarot deck, which we start with the full. It's Rider Waite based. It looks almost exactly like the normal Rider Waite, except the coloring is totally different. Well, totally different. I mean, I don't know if you can see. Let me let me lift this up a little. With the little dots that they use as coloring. So the yellow isn't just completely yellow. I hope my camera is... Because my, my camera seems to be a little bit funky on my screen, so... <laughs> we have the Magician. All the titles are in Dutch. But there's, they are quite easy to, they are quite easy to understand, priestess, the order is also a little bit different in the major arcana, so here for example we have the emperor, where normally the empress is. Number four here, we have the lovers, which is normally number six. The high priest is at number five. And here you see a man and a woman. Also with the lovers, you see that male and female are reversed. At number six, we have the empress. Number seven is a chariot. Number eight is the hermit. I do love the coloring of this deck. We have justice at number nine. The world at number ten. Eleven is strength. Eleven the hanged man. What am I saying? Eleven was strength. Twelve the hanged man. Thirteen is the temperance. Fourteen is death. The 
death is not on this horse. 15 the devil. Sixteen, the tower. Seventeen is the moon. Eighteen is a star, and the star has been a little bit dressed. We have the creepy baby <laughs> at number nineteen. <laughs> Judgment, 20, also with a baby. And this is the universe as the last card. Here is the wands, looks almost the same as the Rider Waite. The second one as well. So it's very, very similar now to the normal Rider Waite Smith. They're putting up a tent at number five. The Ride of Victory at number six. Defending number seven. Something goes very fast at number eight. Holding the fort. Carrying the burdens. And here we have the page. Very focused. We have the knight. Queen and the king. And then we go with the swords. Again, I think you can see that there's a little bit of dots, darker dots, which makes it a bit more colorful than the original Rider Waite. The three, a little bit of rest, I hope my camera isn't picking up, picking up too much of the traffic. This was the card that was haunting me when I first got the deck, which meant that I didn't touch the cards for a very long time. <laughs> and this was, by the way, my first tarot deck ever. We have the page, the knight, the queen of swords. I think she seems friendly in this deck, then she doesn't the Rider Waite Smith. And the King. And then we go to the Pentacles. This one is like he's watching them grow. <laughs> so funny. And then the hard worker. The lady. And here he is petting 
just petting a dog. And the peach, the knight, the queen, and the king. And then the last suit is the cups. Again with the coloring, with the darker dots. Partying girls. The drama queen. of cups, the nine, the wish card, ten of cups, and the page who's talking to the fish, the knight of cups, and the queen of cups, and last but not least, we have the King of Cups. So yeah, this was a little flip through of the Restored Order Tarot. Thank you for watching.